Outdoor movie nights are a wonderful way to enjoy an evening safely with family and friends, or if you're just a movie buff like me, get your fix on Solo. Before you choose a movie, though, you need to consider a number of outdoor projectors to see which ones might be right for your situation. So today we're going to look at the best outdoor projectors for movie night. So no matter what the level of quality of your movie, the experience watching it will still be five stars. And as always, I'll include links to each of these down below so you can check updated pricing and availability for any of them that you might be interested in. Also, if there are any special deals or discounts on any of them, I'll include that in the description as well. Popularity of outdoor projectors are increasing by the moment. There are more and more to choose from and they all vary in price and specifications. Many of the factors to keep in mind before you choose an outdoor projector depend upon the environment where you're going to be watching the movies. So rather than go into the nuances of which projector might be good for a specific setting, every item that I'll talk about today are projectors that we tested and they all excel in technical specifications. And for a wide array of outdoor movie sets, they have the technical specs and the design focuses to make sure that they're going to be a solid choice no matter where you set up the projector and watch your movies. So the best overall outdoor projector is the Vava 4K UHD Laser TV Home Theater Projector. And the Vava 4K projector might be just the ticket for giving you an experience that's actually going to be better than a theater. They use laser projection and it creates a truly gorgeous picture. The brightness rating and contrast ratio are actually 150% higher than you'll see in a typical movie theater. And on the audible side, of things, the Vava comes with a beefy built-in soundbar made by Harman Kardon, which is a really high-profile speaker manufacturer. And it also has a range of ports for external speakers if you don't want to go that route, if you have something better or something different, and video playback devices, making it really, really versatile. Perhaps the most really striking thing of the Vava 4K is its ultra-short throat, which really just means it can project a really large image even when it's close to the screen. In fact, the Vava can fill up to a 10-foot screen from a distance of only 7 inches, which is a really, really impressive feat if you're familiar with camera stuff like I am. And what this does is remove the need for extensive planning and setup. You just simply set the screen up, put the projector in front of it, and you're ready to rock and roll. So if your goal is to create your own theater chain in your backyard, the Vava 4K is going to help you do that for sure. The next one we're going to talk about is the best bang for your buck, and that's the Optoma HD 146X High Performance Projector. The Optima model is a true workhorse at a very tempting price. It's extremely bright, clocking in at 3600 ANSI lumens, which means it can be seen clearly even before sunset. And it's dynamically black, which is a feature that improves picture quality by increasing visibility in low light scenes because it drops the black level down so that when scenes are in lower light, you can actually make things out. It looks vibrant and the picture in daylight is much more vibrant in color too. The contrast ratio of 25,001 means that the picture will be really crisp and lifelike, and they do all all that with a single chip on their DLP projection, which prevents image blurring that can occur with a lot of the multi-chip projectors. To top it off, the unit boasts a bulb rated to last for 15,000 hours, so that's 7,500 two-hour movies, and that's enough life for a movie per day for 20 years. You won't have to worry about a really dramatic scene in the movie you're watching being ruined by fan noise because Optima has figured out a way to mitigate that so it doesn't impede your experience. And while it doesn't offer Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connectivity with its technical features, Features, it goes toe to toe in every other capacity with all the others that cost maybe even three or four times as much. So if you just want the best bang for your buck, that's where the Optoma HD 146X comes into play. Third on our list is actually one designed for people who have actually watched movies on a low quality projector before and not been satisfied with it, or you already own one that's just not up to snuff, then the Epson Home Cinema 1060 3100 lumens projector might be right for you. This particular model has a 15,001 contrast ratio and 3100 lumens of brightness, and that gives a clear, bright picture, and it uses LCD, a liquid crystal display, to ensure longevity and low energy consumption, much like they do with your HD TVs. With the Epson, you can project movies from farther away onto larger screens and in lighter surroundings without losing any picture quality. And while it's true that the sound quality on the Epson is somewhat subpar compared to similarly priced models, external speakers are a must for a really good experience anyway, but this projector with great picture quality and compact design make it a really solid choice for backyard movie buffs just looking to upgrade their situation. Next up is the best miniature one, because while backyard cinema can be cool, what about backcountry movie nights? And if you want to do that, you're going to need a quality projector you can tote on a camping trip or an RV and just set it up really, really quickly, and that's why the Nebula Mars 2 Pro 500 portable projector by Anchor might be the way for you to go. In addition to having compact size, the projector has has a thundering sound system, so you're not going to need those additional speakers. And on top of that, it has Android TV built in, so if you have an internet connection and you can stream at will, you won't have a need for a DVD or a Blu-ray player. Plus, this model has a three-hour battery life, which is long enough for almost any film unless it was directed by Martin Scorsese. 
no disrespect to the man, as well as a standard wall plug-in. The only drawback of this model is its slightly slower screen resolution. It's 720p as opposed to 1080p, which is the resolution of most other projectors. But with so many attributes that they pack into something you can carry in the palm of your hand, the Nebula Mars Pro 2 by Anchor is kind of mini outdoor projector that has maximum appeal. Next up on the list is the Fangor native 1080p Full HD Wi-Fi Bluetooth projector. And this is one where you want to keep grandma and grandpa in mind because even the oldest fandom movies is going to want to make sure that they're doing it in the most technologically advanced way possible. And the Fangor is a really powerful projector that was made for streaming and connectivity. And it's optimized for use with mobile phones and streaming sticks as well as Bluetooth speakers. It's a solid choice for a wireless movie night. It's very, very bright. It puts out a vibrant full HD image and it has a 6500 lumen bowl with an 8001 contrast ratio and it can even display a football game on a cloudy afternoon with quality that's comparable to a premium flat screen tv it's a smart choice if you want to watch films with a little fuss the projector setup is really highly intuitive the kind that you can just drop and start watching in a few minutes and the fact that it emphasizes wireless connectivity makes watching a movie on it no more complex than just plugging the projector in pointing it at a screen and connecting your phone to it so for the people who just want to drop the projector down, press a few buttons, and start watching movies, that's where the Fangor native 1080p Full HD Wi-Fi Bluetooth projector comes into play and could be the right choice for you. With all the talk of 1080p and 720p, 4K is all the rage now, so the BenQ HD 3550 4K home theater projector with HDR10 is the best for 4K resolution. And it's just one of a few outdoor projectors that are currently available that displays in native 4K resolution, which is going to take your movie night to new heights. This model was designed for customization and fine tuning, so if you're a movie buff like me and you're concerned about so many features and the color of any specific movie, there are a full range of different settings you can use to tweak the brightness, the contrast, and really get more of the picture that feels right for your eyes. Another excellent and unusual feature is the HDR, the high dynamic range, which is a feature that increases picture vibrance and makes every color you see on screen seem more accurate to what is actually real life. And this enhancement combined with an already very impressive of 30,000 to 1 contrast ratio make all the images even more dynamic. This projector also packs a fairly high quality speaker. It's not a replacement for a sound system, but it's pretty beefy for a device that focuses on picture and not sound. So if you are all about the 4K rage and you want to make sure your picture quality is top notch, the BenQ HD 3550 might be the right way to go for you. Also really popular right now is 3D viewing and another Optoma product makes the grade for that, the Optoma HD 141X 1080p 3D DLP home theater projector was built to replicate the feeling of seeing a movie in 3D in the theater. It's supremely bright, putting out about 3,000 ANSI lumens, making it one of the brightest projectors on this list, and fully capable of working in settings other than total darkness. So if you want to do a daytime 3D movie outing, the HD 141X might be the right one for you. Also impressive about this particular unit has a contrast ratio of 23,000 to 1. And when you consider that a top quality TV has about a 7,000 to 1 contrast ratio, then you start to realize that this outdoor projector will provide the blackest blacks, the whitest whites, and the most vibrant colors possible, all in 3D. So for 3D viewing, it might make sense to go all out, and the HD 141X might be the way to go. And lastly, with audio, with all this talk of external, internal speakers, we tested one that really had outstanding audio, and that's the XGIMI MOGO Pro Mini Portable Projector. And this particular model is like a smart speaker, smart TV, and mini projector all rolled into one package. It has those Harman Kardon speakers that I mentioned earlier, and the sound specs on the MOGO Pro beat out most wireless speakers. That's a pretty serious accolade, considering that we're talking about video projectors here, not audio. And so as I said, no need for connecting extra speakers, adapters, cords, extra devices, all these things. None of these things are necessary to make movie night sound as good as it looks with the x -Gimme. Aside from a screen or service, this projector really is an all-in-one device. You can stream your favorite services using a mobile device or straight from the Android TV app on the projector. And with a brightness rating of only 300 ANSI lumens, the MoGo Pro isn't quite as bright as some of the other projectors, but when you use it properly in dim settings, we tested it and your viewing should be issue free. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please feel free to leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. A good digital pad on the back feels oh so nice. Just a reminder that I'll include links to each of these products that I talked about down below so you can check for updated pricing and availability for any of them that you might be interested in. Also, let me know any comments or questions you have. I always love getting to answer as many of them as I can. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.